Hey, what is going on guys? My name is D Free and welcome back to the channel. And once again, I am joined by the legendary Mr. Dr. Blick. The guy only does One Piece stuff, but I took him out of his shell for today's video. Say what's up, man. Bruh, I do not just only do One Piece stuff, I do <laughs> Dragon Ball as well. So get off my cheeks, you know what I'm saying? What is good, guys? What is good? It's been well, a while I, since I, I've been on this channel. <laughs> I thought you'd be flattered though. I called you legendary, man. You're, you're legendary in the Burning Blood community. Everybody knows your name, okay? Bruh. <laughs> 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 no, so today, guys, we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Z, and we're going to be doing a list for you guys, so the top eight abilities in the series, and for this topic, everything is fair ground. We're going to be able to use material from the games, from the extended universe, like the movies and things like that, from GT, Super, everything is fair ground at this point, so Blick, go ahead and get us started with your first choice. So I'm going to kick it off by saying Baltimo. The reason why, Baltimo, Baltimo, bruh, bro, I freaking went in the Botamo, poop, bro. yo. <laughs> Botamo, bro. <laughs> I'm going to say because the way he was not able to take damage, bro, if I had the ability not to be able to take any damage from being hit, bro, you you will straight up, you will straight up see me doing martial arts because I'll just be like, just just be taking attacks without flinching, bro. The way this guy was able to absorb attacks, um, but like, was it like teleporting it somewhere else? Was it around about that? Like that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. So according to Jocko, he was like, oh, well, he's basically taking the hits and transporting them to another dimension. And then they were like, really? He was like, probably so. <laughs> Bruh, do you know how much pain, like, you have z literally zero pain. You have no pain. You would <laughs> literally just be painless, bruh. Like you fall on the ground, bruh. Teleport that tech, teleport that pain away. <laughs> Trip over rock, <laughs> teleport away, bruh. Like you would literally be painless. And bruh, like, who wants to have pain, bruh? So yeah, he's he's the first guy I'm gonna mention because his ability is really interesting and it's actually seen Dragon Ball Super be more creative and I like the way that Goku had to figure out a different way to beat him, which was actually pretty legit and pretty dope, which you don't really see a lot in Dragon Ball. But yeah, yeah, Batamo, bruh. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. I think Botamo is a great character. So my fourth pick. You know, the bottom of my list is General Blue. I'm stepping all the way back to Dragon Ball while Blake was just a Dragon Ball Super. That's such a massive time skip there. But um, I, I love General Blue's ability to basically paralyze you. I mean, you see him being an antagonist in Dragon Ball and the way he was basically pursuing the Dragon Balls for uh, Commander Red and whatnot. So he was basically just pursuing the balls. And every time they came across Goku, he was like, oh, look into my eyes. And everybody's like, no, look at his eyes. Because when you look at his eyes, you basically get paralyzed. And he just was kicking ass. You know, it worked on everybody until mercenary tower Tao Pai Pai showed up and he tried to do it to him and it just didn't work so I thought that general boo's ability was a really good ability now it is proven that it doesn't work on stronger opponents but if you put that ability in somebody like Goku's hands for example that would work on just about everybody in the series so that's a great ability in and of itself so my next one is um Goldo and the reason why I'm saying Goldo is due to the fact that he can hold his breath he can freeze time bro do you know how much you can do when you can freeze time bro like everyone's had that moment where they wish that that they wish that they can do stuff with more time bro hold your breath you can freeze time you can literally do all you want bro do you know how much sleep I'll catch up with food? even though I wouldn't be able to catch up with sleep because technically I'll be holding my breath, be dying, bruh. Anyways, <laughs> like holding your breath for, for like a certain amount of time, you'll be able to accomplish a lot and do stuff within the amount of time in that time zone, bruh. Like when I'm late to college, bruh, I'll just, I'll just freeze time. Just hold, just hold, hold my breath. Just go, go in that seat. It's like, wait, wait, Blake, you, were you here, bruh? Like, yeah, yeah, I'll say the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would, I, would, I would just abuse the fact that I can freeze time for a certain amount of time, bruh. It, like the whole like freezing time or stopping time that technique has always appealed to me and yeah like Goldo's power is interesting and his power is better than hits bro but that guy's just a dumbass <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, no, no. that's me I love Guldo's ability too, and it really just shits on Hit's ability. You know, Hit's a, Hit has an awesome ability too, but it's just like Guldo's is like the big brother version. But, you know, the next one for me is a guy who's, you know, from Guldo's squad as well. I'm bringing in Captain Ginyu. And the reason being is, you know, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're telling me this guy can take over anybody's body, okay? He gets freaking Beerus off guard. He could take over Beerus' body. You know how OP that ability is? Now, we see downflaws with it, you know, to the effect that he doesn't always know how to use use people's bodies and their powers and things like that but still nonetheless that's that's completely just that's an unorthodox ability that's really op and per dragon ball super this guy doesn't even have to say change now he can make you say change now 
And, you know, you can fucking take your body that way. Like, imagine, like, you're just having a regular conversation and you just happen to say change now, right? You know, in the conversation, in the sentence. And he's like, oh, sorry, I got your body. I didn't even want this body, but I got your body. You know, like, <laughs> that's that's an amazing ability. You know, if he ever learned how to harness the abilities of the person he's taken over, which is kind of in flux because the way he was able to maneuver with Tagoma's body in Super. But, you know, if he ever got over any hiccups with the power, that would be probably top one of the top powers in the entire series man so your next one blick wait wait before i go into my next one the funny thing about that ability is is the fact that he can pretty much like um he can pre- that that body might not even be his bro <laughs> yeah his original like body yeah i like you said the whole thing about him saying like the whole like read you read it and say that to me that's bs but Anyways, I'm just going to dive in and say the next one on my list is Majin Buu's ability to turn literally stuff into food, bro. <laughs> like, this man told, turn Chi Chi into an egg, bro. Like, and then he's like, do you, he was like, do you like egg? And he's like, what? He just turned it into egg. And then stepped <laughs> it. I was like, bro, Toriyama Savage. <laughs> like, that caught me so off guard. I didn't really see that coming. Like, that was like, bro, like, do you know how much chicken I can get, bro? Like, you would literally wouldn't need to pay for anything, bro. You would see that rock on the, flo- on the floor, bro. Turn it into chicken, bro. <laughs> you bro, would you would be stop to- <laughs> starving worldwide with that ability. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> like, no more starvation, no more hunger, because that ability is so useful. Like, Majin Buu has a lot of tricks up his sleeve that he can do. And that, like, being able to turn, turn stuff into candy, turn stuff into food, is actually OP. And when I saw, like, um the evil part of Buu inside him, when he blew that back on him, that was, that was, bro, <laughs> that had me speechless the first time I saw that. But, yeah, Majin yeah. Buu's ability is one of my favorite abilities in um i was gonna say one piece bro <laughs> i told you in, you're a one piece channel just, leave me alone <laughs> it's it dragon ball because it's so unique and like like i said you rarely see unique abilities in dragon ball and yeah yes that's that's, that's margin boo bro Awesome. So we're getting into each of our top twos now, I believe. So, well, actually, Boo was already your second. So now we're it's time for my number two. And my number two is somebody we've actually already touched upon, and he is Botamo. I rated Botamo number two because really, honestly, as we kind of touched on earlier, the ability to basically not take any damage is flat out ridiculous. That's that's crazy to, to think that this guy took a Kamehameha you know, straight to the face and was completely unfazed. He smiled after that shit, okay? He took that shit to the face and was fine. That's ridiculous. Imagine that ability just once again at any point throughout the series with any major villain and understand that they would have never beat that villain at any point. You know, being impervious to damage is ridiculous. So that being said, I put him number two because there is just so much potential for that ability. And honestly, outside of a tournament atmosphere where Goku's only real way to win against him was throwing him out of the ring, Botamo could be an interesting character. He really interest, uh, surprisingly got wasted in Super with his ability and all that. So yeah, he's number two for me, Blake. Uh, so number one for me is Bobbity, due to the fact that this man has the ability to control people, bruh. Like he controlled. Okay, technically Vegeta let him, but he can. He was con- in. He he gives you more power when he controls people, and the fact that he can control people and not actually physically be strong himself always interests me. And that ability was actually pretty dope and cool because this man was a villain. Without even truly being like one of the big villains in Dragon Ball, you guys, if you if you know what I mean. So seeing what he can do and seeing how he was able to control Majin Buu and how he was able to release Majin Buu and control the Bora and control all these legendary fighters across like across like the the, the like the universe, bro. That was dope, and it was always nice to see that. And seeing what Bobby can do was actually legit like like i said like you rarely see these stuff in dragon ball so when you see it, it always has you surprised it always has you interested in how they do it because when you see unique abilities in dragon ball it's always an amazing sight and it always that like, interests me a lot and actually gets me hyped and excited and yeah bibbidi yeah. bobbidi boo <laughs> <laughs> well i was actually now that you made a magic pun i was gonna say you clearly love magicians because you've got boo with his magic and you got bobbidi with his magic too and then you just used the whole name pun too for bibbidi bobbidi boo so yeah the, that makes perfect sense now so getting into my top one my top one is somebody that we have already touched upon as well and this is guldo i mean let me say this I touched, I talked about Hit a little bit earlier, but imagine Hit with freaking Goldo's ability. Imagine that, okay? Goldo's ability to stop time, albeit it has a drawback in that it only lasts for as long as you can hold your breath, 
understand how OP that ability is. Hit, as at this point of the show, we don't know if it's going to expand anymore. His ability to stop time only goes for half a second. You know how short amount of time that is? Half a second? So... I really don't like the fact that Goku's out speeding that half a second by, you know, being Kaioken, Super Saiyan Blue, whatever. But he go, there's no way Goku can simply outspeed Guldo's ability. I don't care if he's going Kaioken times 50. He's not going to outspeed Guldo's ability because Guldo's ability is infinite depending on how long he can hold his breath. That is a fantastic ability. Imagine all the things that you can do in the minute or two or maybe three minutes that you, that guy could potentially hold his breath. Goku could literally wake up and just be dead. He'd just be another <laughs> world with a halo again because you know, in two minutes, this guy just sat there and just stabbed them with a million knives and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like You could be really OP with Guldo's ability. Guldo, like you said earlier, Blake, is just he's really stupid. He was just really just physically weak. He was out of shape. Obviously, he's a fat guy, so he wasn't <laughs> yeah, using like that ability breath, right. Breath. <laughs> I was like, when you said that um, Goldo could like literally hold his breath, you just see Beyonce go, baby, I can see your hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like, it would be so, it would be like, it would be so interesting to see someone that was actually physically fit and actually was actually smart with Goldo's ability because pretty much he's unstoppable. Like you said, you don't even have to be strong. You just need to just stop time and just get out that knife, bro, and deliver the help. <laughs> That's what I'm but, saying. Yeah. Like, God damn, there's no way to stop that. You can't outspeed that shit. But no, Blick, uh, thanks for joining me on the video, bro. Yeah, it's cool, man. Thanks for having me, bro. It's been a long time, bro. It's been since that, vi that, that, um, what's it, that Freezer video. <laughs> yeah, that shit was like in December. Everybody, uh, Blick is going to try to do more Dragon Ball content. So if you guys are interested in One Piece content, <clears throat> Dragon Ball content, go ahead I'm and uh, subscribe to Blick. Uh, because you know he's a he's a really cool guy. I want you guys all to go check his channel out. But Blick, do you have any other closing words you want to say here, man? Um, uh, nope. But um, yeah, like I got, I got actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> that's really, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for uh, tuning in today. Peace out. Bye.